IGCSE Biology, Syllabus Statement 2.6. Here we're looking at the structure of the large biological molecules. Let's begin with the group known as the carbohydrates. As previously mentioned, these are composed of carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. The simplest carbohydrates are the sugars. And I'm going to represent those with a simple diagram, just some spherical structures like this. So each of these represents a sugar. And the large molecules that sugars combine to form are molecules such as starch. And that's, that's a plant one. And glycogen. And a simple image to have of these is to think of starch as being many sugar molecules joined together like this in a big long chain and the particular glucose molecule that we're dealing with here is, uh, the particular sugar is rather is glucose so this starch is a chain of glucose molecules in animals we have the same chain idea that the sugars are joined together into a chain but in animals the chain has branches like this and the stored form of sugar in animals is glycogen and the stored form of sugar in plants is starch group number two the proteins you'll remember that proteins are contain carbon hydrogen oxygen and nitrogen the simple smallest molecules involved in proteins are those that we call amino acids so we'll represent these with some circles like this so this is these are amino acids Now the amino acids are also joined together in long chains like this and it is these chains that we describe as the actual protein. So if we join amino acids together we get protein and if we broke them down we would get amino acids this is equally true up here so in one direction we make the big molecule and in the other direction we get the smaller ones the third group are the lipids and here the story is slightly different so let's represent the lipids like this. First of all, the small molecule, this small molecule here, this is called glycerol. And the lipids have another kind of molecule, which I'm going to represent with a zigzag chain like this. These are chains of carbons, hydrogens and oxygens and the name of these chains is the fatty acid. So this is different. Lipids have two different kinds of molecules joining together to form a structure like this. And the fatty acid chains join like here and here and here and this is what we call a lipid so in this direction we would break it down to glycerol and fatty acid and in this direction we join them together to make lipids 